the Ministry of Labor in Qatar has announced the Eid al fitri vacation of three days for all the private workers in Qatar. Remember, this comes as an establishment in its Twitter that all workers in Qatar in the private sectors are entitled to a three days vacation leave uh, that is fully paid as according to the Article 74 of the Labor Law. What does it mean that in any of those professions that you are working in, in any of those job areas that you are working in, let's say for example, you're a security guard, let's say for example, you're a cleaner, you're a technician, you anyone that works in the private sector, you are entitled to have three days of vacation of the Eid al fitri celebration. And those days, as per the, according to the ministry, those days should be those days should be fully paid by your company. Remember, these are part of the celebrations to mark the national days. And when we go back to look at uh, the article, the Article 74 of the National uh, uh, National Article of, uh, 74 of the Labor Law, it entitles you to to be paid overtime on a national day in case it is being worked in Norway. That is the latest information that we have from the Ministry of Labor. However, the ministry still stresses it that in case, let's say for example, in case that that three days holiday, that your nature of work does not entitle you to have those vacations or does not entitle you to have the leave in those three days. What does it mean? The ministry says that those days should be fully paid with what we call overtime. Because remember, all employees are being all employees are entitled to have vacation for three days. But however, depending on the nature of the position or depending on the nature of the work that you are doing at that particular time, you cannot have the three days. So that means you'll continue working or you'll continue going to duty. But however, as per the ministry, your your company should pay you those days and should pay them as overtime. If you are working for 12 hours, that means that will be overtime of 12 hours. If you are working for 8 now hours or 9 hours, that means it will be overtime of 9 hours. Because as per the government, as per the ministry, you are supposed to be off. But you cannot get off because of the nature of your work. We look at uh, some some we look at some, uh, some jobs like, for example, the security guards that will not entitle us uh, to get off at that time. That means if you are a security guard, and you do not take an off in those three days those three days you work them to fully as per the ministry it's supposed to be over time each day that you work if it is 12 hours that means it's supposed to be over time of 12 hours if you work for nine hours duty then that means it's supposed to be over time of nine hours duty that is part the statement that is coming from the ministry and to all the private sector likewise to the technicians likewise to other departments like cleaning departments likewise to other departments all people in the private sector that are working in different departments that are entitled to those three days of vacation which are being given by the law or which are given by the labor law as per the article of 70 uh, article 74 of the catalog that entitles the establishment or that entitles you to be paid overtime on such kind of day in case it is being worked in one way or the other remember when we are talking about this uh, national days we talk about the Eid al fitri those are three days we talk about um, Eid and Doha we also talk about that three days then we also talk about we, 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 we can't fail to mention the national day that is the independence day which is one day meaning that in the year those days are fully paid they must be given as fully paid days even if when you get or when you get off or even if you are, you are, your area of work does not get to go to work on that day you must be paid as according to the ministry of labor at the same time it still entitles because something that you need to remember when it comes to the month of ramadan something i need to remember to remind when it comes to the month of ramadan the normal working hours per the guard the ministry of labor or per, 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 per the government of Qatar, according to the labor law, the maximum the maximum working hours for all people in the private sector is supposed to be six hours, or all other people are supposed to be six hours. Meaning that 
if for your occasion in that time you are working more than six hours that should be calculated as what we call overtime still when we look at the normal other time apart from ramadan the normal working hours of all employees in the private sector in Qatar is supposed to be eight hours eight hours that means a uh, maximizing you are working uh, you, you you have 48 hours uh, 48 hours in the week and if you're working during the ramadan that is six hours you supposed to work six hours that means you will be entitled to work 36 hours in the week that is what the ministry is uh, spiritless but however sometimes to some extent, some extent you find that some companies have been violating this in these cases and the next the reason for me making this this uh, this video is to you to be aware that some of this some of these are being put forward by the government and it is our responsibility also to follow up how do you all follow up because remember if for example you worked in this you worked this Ramadan and you are entitled to three days but your company does not pay you at the end of it all you this one will definitely be reflected on what we call the pay slip or on what we call the message that are being sent to you for the pay, the payment get a screenshot of that message print it out put it keep it as what we call a proof of a, a proof of evidence that i was not paid and this kind of thing because even if you are to go to the minister of labor to actually urge it out that i was not paid and yet as per the Qatar below i'm supposed to be paid i was not paid by my company they will tell they will definitely ask from you they will tell what is the proof that you'll not be paid the only proof that you'll not be paid at that time is that amount of money that was being uh, wired or that amount of money that was being wired to your account or put on your account that will show you that the amount that was stipulated or what was supposed to be given to was not supposed to be given was not given to as your company and in that matter or in that due case the the, the actually the ministry will be able to follow up as will be able to have evidence and follow it up that is why it's always very important for you to keep a screenshot of those messages for you in case you have any in any query regarding your salary in one way or the other because that's the only way that you can go to a, that's the only way and you can prove it to a company that i was not paid for this amount and it is being entitled to me by uh, by by uh, the labor law remember we say uh, the ministry of labor has announced and treated an uh, unfit leave vacation for workers uh, in the private sector establishment is subject to what we call the labor law which is the three days fully paid by the uh, ministry of labor indicated that if a worker condition requires a worker to be employed on such kind of days or during the Eid holiday the provisions relating to overtime work and their allowances are mentioned in what we call the article 74 of the labor law and shall be applied those allowances that you're supposed to get or that overtime that is supposed to be entitled to you for working in those periods are supposed to be applied as according to the ministry still something i need to remind you about the article 74 of the labor law what does the article 74 of the labor law speak late and what does it say Ah, the article says that according to the article 74 of the labor law the employer shall pay the worker the additional working hours at at a rate not less than the basic wage or a plus not less than what we call 25 hours uh, meaning 25 uh, percent meaning that if uh, if for example in this in ramadan where you have three days if you work each day that means that overtime should be equivalent to that same hours that you worked on that day if you work 12 hours then that means 12 hours will be the normal pay for working on that day but still the 12 hours will also be another calculation of what we call the overtime each one hour will be calculated as overtime on top of what you're going to get as what we call the basic pay that is what the ministry or that is what in the article 74 of the labor law that it says however something that you need to remember when it comes to the national days in Qatar or when it comes to national days in the gulf that employers who are subject to what we call the labor law in Qatar are required to grant what you call full payment for leave for three days what does it mean that if you are an employer or if you're not in a company in Qatar or oh, in Qatar you are subject to what you call the labor law you have to follow what you call the labor law so meaning that 
if the government of if the ministry works up to give the three days to all employees in the private sector or even the public sector because remember now the the public sector are having a total of 10 days uh, on, 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 on vacation which are fully paid now for the private sector which is having the three days as per the gov the ministry of labor the, the your company or your employer is obligated to pay you that amount of money or to pay you that amount of overtime that is being worked on that day hope i've tried to share it out uh, rightly thank you so much for coming back to this channel remember it's max from the next creation always giving you the updates around the group giving the updates around Qatar, giving you the updates around the gulf countries the latest information travel we give us the restriction travel restrictions i give you about the jobs all moving around the globe in the gulf countries thank you so much for coming back this year by the way don't forget to tune in don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also hit the notification button because it will be the only way that you'll be always alerted when i upload something new thank you so much see you again let us uh, see you again in the next video as we try to look at more of the latest updates